Hi guys, we are here at the famous Twin Palms Frank Sinatra Estate and we are going to be meeting with Lisa Vossler Smith of Modernism Week and she's going to tell us all about the upcoming event which is coming up in February. This famous residence was built in 1947 by famed architect E. Stuart Williams and we're going to go and talk with Lisa and learn more. Hi Lisa, thanks so much for having us over today and um, you're the executive director of Modernism Week which is by far the most popular event that happens in the city of Palm Springs and we're just curious how did Modernism Week uh, really start out here as it's not all that old. No, but we're 15 years old this oh, year, yay. so it's a, a big anniversary year for us. And thank you very much for coming to visit with me. It's our pleasure. I'm, I'm fortunate that I'm from Palm Springs, so I have been around Modernism Week since its beginning. I've been the executive director for a little more than six years. But the event has really grown from what was a small three-day weekend event about 15 years ago into a large 11-day festival with wow. more than 150,000 attendees this year. The history, the stories, that's what engages people the most. Aside, of course, from the most important factor, the, the architecture. So you've, you've been with Modernism Week for so long and you've seen so much growth and so much, you've seen it evolve so much. So what would you say would be like your most, uh, let's say your proudest moment or, you know, your most, uh, you know, your greatest achievement you feel that so far? Well, it's such a team effort that it's hard to take credit for, for all sure. of the expansion and for the efforts, but there have been times that have been very special. For example, some of the architects, um, when we first started Modernism Week, were still living. And so we've had mm. the opportunity to meet and work with E. Stuart Williams, who designed yeah. this beautiful home, as well as Don Wexler and Bill Kreisel and um, Hugh Kapter, who is still living yeah. and working in Palm Springs, which yeah. is amazing, even into his 80s. So working with the architects and really trying to understand what their motivation was and what their devotion to Palm Springs was all about. Interestingly, they were working throughout the Coachella Valley, so it wasn't just Palm Springs that had um, significant architecture mm -hmm. and these properties are being discovered every year we're seeing new properties become available for us to to tour right and and it makes sure. sense because they were working throughout the valley they had their architecture firms here yes. and they had projects all over Southern California so it's been really um, wonderful to help archive and promote that cultural history of Palm Springs that's fantastic and invaluable yeah thank, thank you. you so much my pleasure let's take a look around. All right, let's, let's do it. So we'll start our tour here outside by the pool. This is the 1947 Twin Palms Estate of Frank Sinatra and it was built by and designed by architect E. Stuart Williams who was a desert modernist architect mm -hmm. and it was privately commissioned by Frank Sinatra so this was raw land there was no house wow. here and uh, allegedly he wanted a Georgian mansion to be built but fortunately Mr. Williams was able to convince him that a, a modern house might be more applicable mm -hmm. for Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves to talk about the piano-shaped pool, yeah. so I would be remiss if I didn't mention yes. to you that the, the shape of the pool is designed like a piano, and above us is a beautiful colonnade that creates a shadow on the ground of piano keys when the sun is high. So it really does resemble Frank Sinatra's piano, yeah. even though some people think that's just a rumor and not true. Mm -hmm. I think it's fabulous. I think so too. And I, I see all this uh, equipment over here. Looks like maybe he might have done some recording. Yes, and, actually, he and, he was with Columbia Records at the time, and they provided a home in-home recording studio to him oh. so that he could record while he was here and have it magically transmitted back to headquarters in Los Angeles. So that is the original recording studio that Frank Sinatra used. So That's we're awesome. we're in a space where he developed created. a lot of and created yeah. a lot of his music right here. You know, he had great 
great years here in Palm Springs and his kids were with him. Nancy and Frank Jr. both lived in this home and have great stories to tell. And later he ended up moving into a, a property in Rancho Mirage, mm -hmm. but the years that he was here were some of the best. Oh. I can only imagine. So here we are in the original front of the house and actually when Frank lived here it was a vacant lot across the street and he used to land his helicopter there and walk across the street oh. to wow. enter the original front door. It can't wow. be that. I know. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Well, Lisa, thank you so much My for a pleasure. great tour, and we wish you the best for modernism in 2020. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you there. Congratulations great. on your success. Thank you. thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, I'm John Caruana, and welcome today to the Mountain View Retreat in the heart of La Quinta. I'm excited for you to see this home today. Here we are in this lovely living room. This home is huge. You've got six bedrooms, you have two oversized large casitas, plenty of room for guests. And the amazing part is, is what you never find here in the desert is it's got its own basement. Here we are in the chef's gourmet kitchen, great for a large group gathering. We've got a butler pantry here and Sub-Zero appliances, Fisher Packle. Here we are in one of my favorite rooms, the basement. Perfect place to come down, watch a movie, read a book, get away from the noise upstairs. And we've got a little surprise for you, a safe. Here we are in the best part of the house, the backyard, where all the fun really happens. You've got a large pool, spa, you've got plenty of entertaining area, and you've got also a bocce ball court, a putting green. I mean, there's just so much to do here, it's amazing. Another amazing part of this house is all the beautiful landscape and garden. I mean, there was so much thought put into this. Fruit trees that you can enjoy. I mean, it's so peaceful. There's so many different areas throughout the home where you can just relax outside. Really zen-like. Here we are in one of the casitas. This casita is amazing. It's like its own little house here. And this is where all the fun happens. Speaking of fun, this home is a successful vacation rental. It's an Airbnb super host. If that's something you're interested in, if you like putting money in your pocket with, a, with vacation rental income, this is a perfect property for you. And the best part is, no HOAs here to worry about. This casita has a large master bedroom, plenty of room to sleep, the, the bathroom is huge. And then there's also another casita after that. And don't forget, this home is turnkey furnished, ready to go. Thank you for joining us here at Mountain View Retreat. We'll see you next time. Hi folks, welcome to my house. I'm Dirk Pierce, and here we are in beautiful La Quinta, California. You might notice I'm wearing a sweater today. It's a little chilly outside, and actually it's raining. You take a look at the mountains, you see it's sprinkling a little bit, but that's not so bad. This time of the year, December, January, we occasionally get a few sprinkles. But I wanna take you out today and I wanna show you some beautiful places in La Quinta, California. As a matter of fact, I got a little trick up my sleeve. So let me grab my umbrella here. And here we go. Dirk. Hi, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So glad that you're here. Welcome Cheers to Marvin's Magic Theater. It's uh, weird and wonderful, all kinds of strange magic everywhere. If you'd like to go into Marvin's, all you have to do is step right up to the green door and say, Marvin, let us in the green door. Okay. Right. Marvin, 
Let us in the green door. That's it. You hear that? That's his favorite song. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, the rat is vaping. It's, it's not that big a deal, really. We're in California, you know, the THC. We're pretty liberal out here, but it makes it for so much better of a show. Trust me, trust me. Well, enjoy Marvin's. Thank you. Whoa. Jeff, this is just spectacular. Well, uh, it was designed obviously with a modern look, uh, not like so much magic is uh, in a Victorian era. We wanted it to be something of a museum feel to it, a modern museum. And uh, it really is um, uh, all themed after Mr. Electric. If you'll notice, uh, we have top hats uh, that all have electrical lights in them. And Mr. Electric Marvin Roy himself and his wife Carol, uh, they were the premier uh, European cabaret and theatrical entertainment for the last half of the last century, the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s. They were on the Ed Sullivan Show twice. Wow. Uh, and they toured with Liberace for seven years uh, all around the world. They had a 50-year career and a 55-year marriage together uh, before she passed. Uh, he's still living. He lives right here in La Quinta. We're roomed for uh, 129 seats in our theater, but our lobby holds uh, just about that many. Uh, as you can see, we still uh, give credit to Marvin Roy. Uh, his quote, magic is a love affair, one of his posters signed by him. In all the world, there is only one. At the time, uh, no one even thought about doing the type of magic he did with electricity and light bulbs, where he would put light bulbs in his mouth, small little light bulbs and cording in his mouth, and then pull them out lit. 40 of them. Wow. 40 of them, wow. one at a time, all the way across the stage on the other side where his wife would hold it. And it was just, it was a, a wonderful, one of Ed Sullivan's uh, favorite acts of all time. Oh. Uh, we have a few quotes from my amateurs, this guy named Albert Einstein, something about magic, you may know him. Um, but this uh, is our theater, and this is where the real magic happens uh, every single day. Jeff, love this stage. What kind of shows might we expect to see here at Marvin's Magic Theater? Well, even though it's called Marvin's Magic Theater, and it's named, uh, namesake is a magician, uh, mm -hmm. I realize that, you know, we need variety. Like for instance, we had the Clairvoyants, who were the AGT America's Got Talent finalists. They were just here the other day. Um, and uh, But we always focus on something magical every week, regardless of the act. There's always lots of laughs to be had, no matter what the act, and we always guarantee a great show. And it changes every week. What kind of caught me when I came here is that how easy it is to get in and out, as opposed to walking through a casino, maybe not getting a good seat, but I mean, here, every seat in the house is a first row seat. Well, when you design a theater the way that a performer, I like to see it, this is like my, my all time, this is my ultimate theater because everyone's close, like you say, everyone feels like it's a front seat that's only 25 feet to the back row, only about 50 feet across, but you got 129 seats. It's like, it's like if I invited everybody in my living room to do a performance. That's what I was thinking, no matter where you're sitting in here, you can see the eyes of the performer. Right. And that's really important. And it's different out here in La Quinta. Nothing is on this side of the valley uh, at all like this. And people were so thankful. Thank goodness we have something fun to do on this side of the valley. I remember when it was being built and my wife and I would always be driving by and we just, for the life of us, couldn't imagine what it was gonna be. So we're so excited you guys are open. Uh, before we finish this, um, you know, Marvin was experimenting in his Mr. Electric mode for the past few years on an experimental project called the Dematerialization Chamber. I think you need to see it. This is called the Dematerialization Chamber. Whoa. It's one of the last inventions that Marvin Roy started. He never really finished. It's not quite perfected, but it's sort of like um, quantum physics where your body can go from one place to another, dematerialize at the subatomic level. You know what I'm talking about. Probably not. Doesn't matter. Come Am on. Am I going to make it home for dinner? Well, this only takes about 10 seconds. Don't get nervous. Actually, I'm nervous. I've never done this before. Has Should Marvin be done this before? Oh, no. He wouldn't get in this thing. <laughs> oh, no. I hope everything's all right. I hope you had a good time. What I did, but what's going on here? Are you there? Hello? Hello?